Joining us to discuss is Ian Howarth. He's an editor for The Daily Wire and co-host of their Morning Wire podcast. Thanks for being here tonight, Ian. Thank you for having me. Great. So we went from thanking nurses as heroes to firing them in a heartbeat for daring to make their own personal health decisions. How did we get here so fast? Was it always just going to come to this? Well, I think it just shows that New York is bad at quite literally everything. I mean, during the pandemic, they were pushing policies that were like basically placing COVID in the most high risk areas, which is nursing homes. And now that we are moving on from, as you say, uh, calling all these healthcare workers heroes, now it's all about the clean and the unclean because the vaccine is the thing that is being used to divide people. And so now these heroes who were working before and during and probably after the pandemic to save people are no longer serving the purpose they want, much in the same way as Andrew Cuomo, they're now being just cast aside. They are. And I think a, a big detail here is when it comes to the vaccine, even from the most the most most ardent pro vacciners out there right now, they'll say, well, you know, the whole reason I mean, you can still get it, you can still spread it. But the whole reason is to minimize your own symptoms, which means shouldn't it be a personal decision, therefore, because you can't say that a nurse who's unvaccinated is going to be a, a, a big mass spreader, whereas a vaccinated nurse won't be a spreader. They, they both can spread it. It's just about personally how their bodies are going to be able to interact with the virus and fight it off. I mean, I have a loved one myself who, who works with COVID patients in a COVID COVID ward. She's unvaccinated, plans to remain unvaccinated, and, and she's been completely fine. Unfortunately, someone that she does know who was a fellow nurse passed away after being a uh, pathway of COVID after being fully vaccinated for it. So truly, does this really just come down to a true personal decision? Oh, absolutely. Of course, it comes down to a personal decision, as all medical decisions do. I mean, the left have been telling us for years, my body, my choice when it comes to killing a baby in the womb. But when it comes to a vaccine, which is really um, incredibly quick in terms of development, I think the vaccine is a wonderful thing, but it certainly shouldn't be forced on those who don't want it, really, regardless of what the treatment is. And we're talking about COVID-19, which is comparatively quite low risk for the vast majority of people. And so people are just losing their minds. I think the biggest mistake we make, though, as conservatives is think we can even rationalize with these people. Like they are utterly irrational, they're utterly unscientific. And so the fact we keep trying to have these conversations with them, it's not going to work because really it's not about COVID. It's not even about the vaccine or the science about the vaccine. It's all about just dividing people. Joe Biden is desperate for a distraction from whatever disaster he's caused each day, whether it be the border or the economy. And so with this one, it's just a way of labeling those who don't want to get vaccinated and vaccinated as unclean or ignorant or stupid or even racist in some cases. It's exactly the same logic we saw with Donald when they uh, tried to oppose people to Donald Trump. If you vote for Donald Trump, you are X, Y and Z bad things. It's all the same um, strategy and it keeps working because people are being willingly divided over this rather than seeing it as a personal decision. I want to get vaccinated. I don't want to get vaccinated. We should just be able to go on with our lives. And the fact that COVID is still being used to divide people, I think, says a lot about the Democratic Party and also the American society that is allowing this to continue to happen. It does. And also, I think it kind of blows open a huge hole in this idea. We've always heard from the left for, for decades about bigger and bigger and bigger government and how that's the, the best answer for everything. But I think with the, the, the current New York governor now, Kathy Hochul, I mean, she kind of exposes all of it because, I mean, look at her. She's saying, don't worry, guys, we're going to we're going to bring in the National Guard, those with with medical, you, you know, those who, who are able to work w in a medical setting. We're, we can bring in experts as well from other states to kind of pick up the slack here as they're firing doctors and nurses and, and everyone else in the, in the medical medical career for making their own personal decisions. But I'm thinking, my goodness, you, you created a shortage. You created the problem. The government created the problem here, the shortage of, of properly trained healthcare workers. And now they have to you know, go to all these great lengths to try and fix the problem that they themselves created. Is that just the perfect example, I think, of the government just getting into everyone else's business and just mucking everything up? Oh, it's just the perfect metaphor for government itself. Uh, they, as you say, they created a problem. They could just not fire all these people. They could just, without doing anything, not fire them. You would have all the people you need. Instead, they're firing people who have been working for months, if not years at this point, to save people and creating a problem. Now they've got to bring the National Guard in. It's one of the few things that the Democratic Party like to use the National Guard for. Meanwhile, they would rather not use any kind of physical force at the border, for example. They, this is just what Joe Biden does, though. Joe Biden likes to create problems and then stand at the front of the parade that follows and claim claim victory. It's a really weird cycle that I, I can't believe Democratic uh, Party voters keep falling for, that the way they look at a problem and they assume that those who cause the problem are the solution. We saw this in California, that people still voted for Gavin Newsom. The very same people. I, I used to live in California. I have a lot of friends still there. They'll complain about the homelessness. They'll complain about the economy. They'll complain about the cost of housing or the fact there's human feces on the street in every direction they go but they'll still vote Democrat. It's just almost a psychosis. And it's very, very, very hard to deal with if you're a conservative looking from the outside in to understand how you can keep voting for the same people that cause the very problems that you are complaining about.
It is, and I think part of what we're seeing right now is almost people have made it their religion because we kicked God out of the public square. So a lot mm -hmm. of people, I mean, we have a God-shaped hole really in so many of our hearts and souls. And instead of finding God, people try to replace God with religion and ideology and partisanship. And unfortunately, I mean, you've seen it with the vote of candles of Fauci and Whitmer and everyone else. And I mean, now you see the, the governor of New York, uh, Kathy Hochul, and she's getting up there and saying that, you know, there'll be no medical or no religious exemptions whatsoever for this vaccine. Mm -hmm. She says all the religious leaders agree with her on this and that she wants everyone to get vaccinated they can be almost disciples or apostles with her i mean it, it's it's quite scary to see this 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 world psychosis i guess to use your word that we're entering into but ian always a pleasure having one thanks for joining us tonight thank you for having me